Hey y'all, up here at the uh, Shades 2012. And uh, yesterday at the show, I met a really nice guy, Jerry, that uh, custom built a 37 Ford pickup truck. It's a, uh, man, it's just a really, really cool, full blown street ride custom. So anyways, let me run Jerry down, have him tell us a little bit about this. Jerry, how are you, brother? Good, Scotty, how you doing? Just fine. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Uh, it's a 1937 Ford pickup, one of the wild rod trucks out of Canada. And uh, it's got a 350-350 uh, uh, in it with a nine inch Ford. Uh, it's got complete air ride, all hydraulic hood and, and uh, deck lid on it. And, and uh, uh, leather interior. Sure. It's a, so it's a fiberglass body street it rod. It's a fiberglass body street rod. They never made a Ford that looked like this. This no, is just kind of based fully on custom, that. Right, yeah, I know. got you. Yeah. And uh, have you been into hot rods a long time? Uh, since I was 14. I'll be 65 this week. No so. kidding. You look good for 65, <laughs> brother. Tell me, um, how long did it take you to build the truck? Uh, I've been on this truck for about five years total. Okay. Five years total. And I see it's got a Harley Davidson theme. You a big Harley yeah. Davidson fan? I'm a big Harley Davidson fan. Used to used to sell them and customize those and build custom bikes and stuff as well as the street rides. Oh wow, cool. How many street rides have you built? Uh, about twelve completes. Cool. And and a lot of redos, of right. course, and stuff like that. But uh, you said uh, you a lot built of magazine cars. You said you built some for a for a famous bike uh, builder. Yeah, I built three cars for Jesse James. Huh? What'd you build for him? Uh, the first car was a 60, uh, 61 Biscayne big block four speed car, and the second one was a seventy one Challenger Panther pink car, and then a uh, uh, sixty four uh, Roadrunner. Roadrunner. Yeah. Uh -huh. A lot of Mopars for him. A lot of Mopars for him. Cool. Well, let's take a look at this truck. Tell me. Uh, that's a pretty color. What what is that? Uh, the the orangish color. That's a candy tangerine color. It's uh it's basically on a 2006 uh, Corvette. Oh okay. Uh, it's the color yeah, for the yeah, bottom yeah. and then a champagne color on the top. And what products are those? That's Dupont. Dupont. Yeah. Cool. And you say you're is that a crate motor that you're running in there? Yes, that's a 350 crate. Motor. And, uh, and you made that? Did you make that air cleaner? I that made a that complete yeah. air system and stuff for it. Cool. Oh, that's it's very a lot cool. Of Spectre man. parts and stuff. And, style Oldsmobile air cleaner type yeah. first. Right, right, and right. That's what I was thinking, right. And it says Hendrick on the valve covers. What's up with that? Yeah, Hendrick's Motorsport, that's a, that's the the valve cover stuff I've had on. I had them on a motor that I had, and I took them off and put them on here. Cool. And then you matched the color to the matched body. Everything. Yeah. yeah, I matched all the trim work and stuff. I handmade and formed everything on the uh, trim work on the car and stuff. So. so once you bought the body, you did a lot of massaging to oh, it. Oh, I did. Yeah, all I think I bought was just the body and the chassis. That's it. Well, what kind of chassis are you running? Uh, it's it's one that's made in... in uh, uh, in Canada, the chassis that comes with these bodies. Okay. Uh -huh. Cool. And are those the headlights that come in it, or did you choose those? Yeah, those are the regular 37 Ford, real Ford type uh, uh, buckets and stuff that come with it. Cool, man. And it sits okay, on airbags? With it, but they, they, it's sorry. on bags? Yeah, it's yeah. got bags, air ride. It's all air ride system. Man, that's a good looking truck. Can you open one of these doors so I can see the interior? Yes. Yeah. Who did your interior work? Uh, Ed Thralls in Mitchell, Indiana. Where are you from? I, I'm from Indianapolis, North, but I live in VV, Indiana now. Okay, cool. And uh, Ed's done Ed's done three or four magazine cars of mine. Just does a fabulous job. Man, I like the little Harley Davidson emblem in the speakers grills. That's cool. Nice little touch. In the bed and stuff, it's in there too. It's in Robert Davis. How long's the truck been done? Uh, about uh, five days. Wow. <laughs> First, only has 400 miles on it. Oh, so. wow. You said you drive this thing. I drove it here. Drove it here. It's not drove a trailer it to queen. I exhaust shop one time and then drove it here from Indiana. So. How'd it run? Run perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Well, I love that color. I thought it was. Harley Blake. Yeah, I'm going to get over here to get that. Custom gauges and all. Everything's custom on this truck, man. When I saw it, I knew I had to shoot it, though. So. I can light those up if you want to lit up. No, I think we're all right. The sun's showing on them, so, yeah, they kind of pop that way. Yeah, the digital comes out. Right. No, that's cool. What transmission are you running in it? A 350. I'm running a 350 motor, 350 trans. That's fine. Did you do the paint work and all yourself? No, I have a friend that does my paint work for He did all my custom bikes and stuff like that. Did all that. I just did everything else. Oh, look at that. Built Fort Tough. That's pretty cool. 
Does this uh, wood panel lift up? Yeah. Yeah, storage yes, it does. up underneath there. I have my gas tank, my air ride, and my battery and stuff okay. underneath the floor. It lifts up and parks too. So. Cool, cool, cool. I like how the center exhaust, man. That's sweet. Yeah, yeah that's really sweet, man. Corvette tips. Right. Pipes. Right. And then the lights, the little brake lights and all in the back. Those are all exhaust. And I love the lines of it, how it comes back and all that, you know? Just a very pretty truck, man. And you're running Foos wheels on it. What size are those? Uh, 20s on the rear and 17s on the front. Cool. Have you dynoed the motor? No. 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 You think what, probably 350, something like that? You, did you do any work to it? No, we kept no. the stock so we could run air and stuff on it. In, I got you. know, you. in traffic and such. So this one, I, I'm a, I'm a blower pro street guy. Right. I've been known for that and stuff. And this truck here is just kind of fascinating everybody because I stayed pretty much stocked with everything. I handmade that unit there that's in the back. That's nice, man. That is cool. Nice job, brother. Sure is. See the I don't know, pockets in the back. Let me get that off. You made that one so good it don't want to come out. <laughs> that's the wonders of video. If something's gonna fight you, that's when it'll do it. But I handmade all of that in the back. Oh, that's and nice. For our storage area. Yeah, we yeah. Keep our cleaners and such back there. Right on. And stuff, build all that in. I built the console underneath the top there for all the radio and switches. Oh, are. yeah, yeah, yeah. I pretty much handmade everything on this truck. Right on. Those are your cup holders down there? Shot. Yeah, those are cup holders. That's cool, man. It's a cool idea, cool way to do it. Power windows. Power. Yeah. Yeah. Power windows. Cool. Safety locks for your suicide doors. Of right. Course. Right. Right. Ready for to shut yeah. Let's shut it up because I want to watch those hydraulics work. Close tolerance on that. Yeah. Put this for safety on yeah, it's for sure, no doubt about it. The wind catches it or something, you don't need that. Y'all gotta love that truck, man. All right, and then it even gets cooler than that. Sweet, and yeah, then do that tonneau cover for me. Please. That's the way to do things, man. It's the right way to do them. Man. Yeah. And you didn't put anything on that, and I like that, you know what I'm saying? You didn't put any big emblem or anything on the tonneau cover, which, no. you know, it's a big flat space, so it yeah. you know, kind of entices you to do yeah. that, but, yeah. no, I love the color combination, I love the lines of it, I love the whole theme of it, I love the new blue oval Ford emblem that you used. Like, well, I, I patterned it after the Harley-Davidson trucks that they do, and they actually had a Harley-Davidson color that was similar to this and stuff, even though they had the black and silvers, but they did have Harley Davidson trucks that were similar to this color here and stuff and I kept the badges and stuff uh, in the proper perspective or where they're supposed to be and stuff and then the Ford emblem on the back so right. I wanted it to right, stay right. like that. I normally probably wouldn't have put that on there but to stay with the uh, Harley Davidson emblem. No, 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 I think that I think that's I think that's that modern touch that you need, you know what I'm saying? Because free ride is all about the details. Yeah. You know what exactly. I'm saying? It's not so much about the big picture, it's about how you how you massage all the details and you've exactly. done a really nice job on that. Let me get a complete walk around to this thing.
I knew when I saw this truck yesterday I had to get it because like I said I just thought it was just really cool the colors the wheels the way everything worked Jerry was a cool guy see if I can get him to start it up. I'll be right back. Can we hear a run? That'll work. Folks, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Jerry's 37 Ford street ride pickup truck from the Shades 2012. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.